Hey, set your mind right now. Nothing before this matters. We came here with everything still on the line. Everything you wanted. Everything you wanted in the offseason is still out in front of you. What would you give for that moment right now? Let's go, man. Let's go. Yo, what is good Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider Alex. I am back with yet another video for you guys. In this video, guys, we're going to be talking about the NFL scouting combine, you know, defensive tackles that ran, you know, and did, did the drills that they had to do. And I'm basically just going to be talking about, you know, whether or not I think their stock rose, fell, you know, and how that might affect, you know, the Raiders and how we're going to draft um, in this year's, uh, in the first round specifically. So with that being said, um, anybody that is new to the channel and you guys love Raiders related content like this, make sure to subscribe. With that being said, let's jump right into it. So the guys I'm going to be talking about is first, um, Jordan Davis. Um, even before the, the combine, this guy was a, he's for sure going to be a first rounder. I think after, you know, the way he performed at the combine, I think he'll, he's going to be a top 20 pick for sure. Um, either way, I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of him. Um, especially at pick 22 but i will say he was very impressive yesterday um that's why i said i mean just based on the measurables on you know the way he performed yesterday i think this guy's a top 20 pick because he's just got a great potential to be you know um, a physical monster in this league to be quite honest with you his 40 yard dash was 4.78 that's fucking crazy especially for a guy his size over 300 pounds i mean honestly i don't i can't even run a 4.7 probably i'm like 100 and 60 pounds so that's crazy man um he had a 1.6 10 yard split so to for some context that is you know a better time than jj watt so it shows that he's pretty explosive coming out the gates and yeah man this guy like i said top most most likely a top 20 pick so i really don't see the raiders being able to, like if that's your guy i really don't think you know you'll be able to get him unless you trade up for him now the second guy I'm going to be talking about is Devontae White, Jordan Davis's counterpart. He actually performed a little bit better than him, you know, in the 40-yard dash. Um, he had a 4.77, uh, the 10-yard split 1.66. Both are just slightly better. Um, he is a little bit like naturally he's you know smaller than Jordan Davis, but you know that's still very fucking fast for a defensive tackle. Shows that both these guys are super athletic. I think this guy for sure, his stock you know went up. He's for I think he's gonna be a first rounder. I really do like a late round late first rounder um, Most of the mock drags I've been doing, you know before he was you know almost always there at the pick 54 and You know that would have been a good pickup for us But like I said with this guy most likely um, His stock rising if you want him honestly, I think you're gonna have to pick him at pick 22 Which I don't know if I love it at 22. It might be a, a little bit of a reach um, But I don't know maybe if you can trade back um to the late first round if he's still there that would be a nice pickup but yeah like i said this guy's stock definitely rose in my opinion now the third guy i'm be talking about is you know one of my favorite defensive tackles in this draft just because of where i thought he would fall and you know just i like the the motor he has i think he can be an excellent run stuffer in this league and that is travis jones uh his 40 yard dash was 4.9 with a 1.76 10 yard split um overall and then on the drills too he looked very athletic very he just looked like a, most of the things that he was doing looked pretty natural to him now this is another guy that i was really hoping you know would fall to pick 54 basically in all my mock drafts that i do it's always been like it's almost been like a lock that i uh, you know i pick 54 i look for travis jones i think that's excellent value you know you're you're getting uh, what i consider to be a potential you know uh, very good run stuffer in this league. He's got a high motor, which I love to see, especially you know in the trenches um, when you need those dogs inside there. To be quite honest with you, and you know whether or not this guy's stock rose, I think it did. Um, I don't know if he'll be, uh, 
he might be like a late first rounder, but most likely like an early second rounder. Basically, point is, all three of these defensive tackles that I've been talking about, I don't think they're going to be there at pick 54. So that just puts us um, in a tricky spot for the Las Vegas Raiders just because I think defensive tackle is definitely one of the biggest needs for this team. And to be quite honest, you we can go for the free agency route, but that's there's really only veterans there that I, I feel like we could look at. You know, you could get a Clay's Campbell, or you can get an Andama Kansu, but that's just you know, like I said, a veteran guy who might do the job for a year or so. So I definitely think we have to draft, you know, at that position. And to me, the defensive tackle class in general, it seems pretty, you know, top heavy. So that's why, you know, like the more and more I think about it, the more I think that we might have to, you know, draft a defensive tackle in this first round unless you can find or at least that you're very confident that you could find a good defensive tackle in the later rounds that could get the job done. And like I said, I think this class is pretty top heavy in my opinion. I mean, some later round guys that you could consider is Noah Ellis. Um, he's a pretty big guy. I think he would probably be there around round four possibly the fifth round um we'll have to see on that also the lsu defensive tackle i think his name is neil farrell jr um that guy should probably be there around fifth round as well um but i mean both these guys they they need some work developed to their game especially the lsu defensive tackle basically if you get him he's not a pass rusher at all he's mainly just a run stuffer um, he had a pretty good, you know, PFF run grade. I think it was the best, you know, out of this class. But anyways, basically the defensive tackles that I am most excited about, I do not think they will be there at, in the second round at pick 54. So, you know, it puts us in that tricky situation, like I said, because I think defensive tackle is definitely a huge need for this team. And I definitely feel like we have to address it. We have to make a solid pickup in this year's draft, at least one. So... Like I said, I mean, puts us in that situation where maybe we have to um, select defensive tackle at pick 22, or maybe you try to trade back into the late first and pick up a, a Travis Jones or Devontae White if they're there, or Perion Winfrey if he fell. But yeah, the more and more I look at it, the more I'm leaning towards, you know, the first round pick that we should really look at defensive tackle just because i don't want to get into a situation where we get you know different positions in the first couple rounds then you know the later rounds we're like damn we still don't have a defensive tackle and you know we we may have to reach for a player or we just go without really addressing that position of need so yeah you know that's that's kind of the way i've been looking at it but you know you guys let me know in the comments down below what what did you guys think overall about these guys times and then you know do you think are you guys leaning towards picking a defensive tackle in the first round um, let me know in the comments down below like i said but for anybody that is new to the channel once again make sure to subscribe if you guys love raiders related content like this and with that being said guys i will see you guys in the next one